DHS, welcome back to Lake Street News. I'm your host, Fran Cannon. Unfortunately, our budget will not include graphics because Mr. Shine sold off our graphics computer to help satisfy his caffeine addiction. We will be holding an intervention next week. And I'm Evie Schreiner. This week, we talk about the funeral of George H.W. Bush, IceFest, and IHS Sports. The 41st President of the United States, George H.W. Bush, passed away at age 94 on the evening of November 30th to vascular Parkinsonism a form of Parkinson's disease. Since 2012, the illness forced Bush to be in a wheelchair. On December 3rd, he became the 12th president to lie in state in the rotunda of the U.S. Capitol. His presidency is defined by the victory over Iraq in the invasion of Kuwait and his presiding during the collapse of the Soviet Union and unification of East and West Germany. He's remembered as a foreign policy president for his involvement in the Cold War relations with Russia and signing a treaty on nuclear weaponry. His political legacy will continue to live on through his surviving family. This past weekend was the 12th annual Downtown Ithaca Ice Fest. From Thursday, December 6th to Saturday, December 8th, the Ithaca community embraced the winter season. The festival featured a silent disco and fire dancing demonstrations, as well as other performances. The star of the fest was the live carving of the ice sculptures. Another hit was the return of the outdoor bar made entirely of ice. In addition to the ice-themed attractions, Saturday was also the annual chowder cook-off. The next big downtown Ithaca event will be the annual Commons Chili Cook-off on Saturday, February 9th, 2019. Now we go to Ben and Jackson for IHS Sports News. Thanks, Fran, and welcome to this week's segment of Laugh and Oats. This past week, the boys' varsity hockey team had an overnight in Messina near the border of Canada. They had a heartbreaking overtime loss against Messina, but were able to fire back on Saturday against Salmon River, winning 3-2. This Saturday, the girls' varsity basketball team was able to beat Henniger High School with a final score of 52-50. to In swim and dive, the boys' team also overwhelmingly beat Binghamton with a score of 102-67. to Back to you, Evie! And finally, this week's featured pet is... Ismay! <laughs> Ismay's owner is Gwen Lindbergh. What a floof ball. Well, that's it for this week, IHS. See you next time. Yes. What is a blue ball? <laughs> 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 <laughs>